Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneAppsFunner.com. Today I'm here to test Sonos controller. It's the latest update by these guys to the Sonos system. And they've added a new exciting feature that I wanted to cover. Sonos is a wireless music system and you can buy all kinds of accessories for it to play music from radio, internet radio and other sources through your home, throughout your home without actually dealing with wires. You can get a dock, you can put your iPad, iPhone on, or you can uh, get all the, br the bridge system to stream music wirelessly to, to all your speakers. And these devices can cost you from 199 to, I think their last device that they came out is 699. It's a, a premium speaker system. And uh, th these are premium quality speakers, but one of the problems that I've had with them with the pa in the past is that you you can use your iPhone and iPad to control these systems, but usually you can only listen to internet radio or uh, the uh, applications, the features that are available within the app. But there was no way to actually listen to your music that you have on your um on your device on your iPad and now in their latest update they've actually changed that so you can listen to the music that you have for me I had to update my bridge and also my office speaker in order for system to work but uh, you may not have to do that uh, what you need to do is actually get the latest version of Sonos controller and once you're there let's say I'm not playing music from this is some alternative music I don't want to listen to that so I'm gonna to listen to music that I have stored on my iPad and I don't have a whole lot but I have one or two to show you how it works I can add to Q, replace Q, or just play. So, in order to get uh, to get the system working, obviously you need a, a bridge, you need a speaker, uh, you will also need the app for Sonos. You can have these speakers all around your home and um, use it that way. What this app doesn't do is, uh, as far as a lot, it doesn't allow you to, for instance, play music that you have you on YouTube. Uh, first, let's say you find something interesting on YouTube and you want to play it through your iPad through this app. It doesn't allow that now. There are hacks available that you can use with AirPlay and all that to get the Sonus system working even playing YouTube from your iPad. Now I'm not going to cover those, but this particular update just lets you add the music that you have stored on your device, let's say iPad and iPhone, and play through your Sonos system. So that's about it. I just want to cover this new latest feature that the guys at Sonos have, uh, the Sonos control actually has gotten. So I, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions on how to better use Sonos and Apple devices and or hacks that you know that people can use, please add them in the comment section. For more coverage, please go to iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Thank you very much, guys.